President Trump has spent 177 days of his presidency at one of his golf clubs. That's about 20 percent of the time he's been president. So he plays a lot of golf. And according to a new book, he doesn't just play a lot of golf. He cheats a lot. Joining us now is award-winning sports writer Rick Riley. He is the author of Commander in Cheat, How Golf Explains Trump. Rick, always a pleasure Thank you. to speak to you. I confess, I picked up the book. I was skeptical, 244 pages on the president cheating at golf. And then I read it, and I think I got it. You're not just saying he cheats. You're saying he cheats. I mean, he <laughs> cheats on all of it. He cheats like a mafia accountant. Like, <laughs> he cheats crazy. He cheats whether you're watching or not. He cheats whether you like it or not. He tried to cheat Tiger Woods in a match, and Tiger hits it like this. He hits two balls in the water, doesn't count either, and, and pretends that he almost tied Tiger Woods. So it doesn't matter who he is. He has to be the winner. What really bothers me is that he's told, he told people on the campaign trail, I don't know if you remember this, mm -hmm. but he said, I'm a winner. You got to vote for me because I've won 18 club championships. He said this three or four times, and that's against the best players in the club. But I knew he was lying because he told me how he does it. Whenever he opens a new course that he buys, he plays the first round by himself and calls that the club championship. Puts his name on the wall. Sometimes he wins club championships from another state. There's a time he was in Philadelphia and he claims he won a, a club championship in Bedminster. Yeah. What happened? So he's, the club ben, uh, championship's going on at Bedminster. He's playing in Philly at his club there. And he finishes his round. He says, hey, what won the club championship? And they said, oh, Joe Schmo shot 74. He goes, well, I shot 72 today. Make me the club champion. And the guy's like, what? Yeah, make me the club champion. And so they take Joe's name off and put Trump's up. And this happens over and over. Like, he often says, I've won 18 club championships. Well, he doesn't tell you they're the senior club championship. Or super senior. Or case. super senior. I wouldn't even know if he won those. So it goes on and on. Like his handicap, he says, is a 2.8. Let's hold off on that because I love the handicap story also. Let me just <laughs> read true. part of this to get a sense of what we're talking about here. You write, to say Donald Trump cheats at golf is like saying Michael Phelps swims. He cheats at the highest level. <laughs> he cheats when people are watching and he cheats when they aren't. Whether you're his pharmacist or Tiger Woods, if you're playing golf with him, he's going to cheat. And the book is filled with stories. You talked about the club championships, but of people, in some cases, famous people golfing with the president or before he was president with Donald Trump. And he's cheating. Mike Tirico, you know, famous play by play guy. Tell me that story. So Tirico and two other announcers are playing with Trump at Trump Philly. And Tirico hits, uh, is, a, is against him in a team game, right? And he hits the shot of his life onto the green, a blind par five. But when he gets there, it's not near the green. It's not on the green, it's not near the pin. It's in the bunker. Well, it turns out Trump kicked it into the bunker so that he could, I mean, can you give the guy his shot of his life? And how important is it you, for you to win? You're worth billions. Like, at what point does it, like, doesn't matter to him? But it does. You know, I played with Clinton when he was president. He cheated. He cheated, but in a completely different way. Like, he would take what we call billigans. Like, he'd hit a shot, and then he'd hit five or six more because he was confounded by golf. But he wasn't trying to make you lose. He'd always play his first ball, but he was just trying to get the game. It's like a guy that goes to the bank to steal the pen versus the guy that goes to steal the money. He really needs to win, and I've never seen anything quite like it. So Donald Trump is a very good golfer. Yeah. All right? But he claims to be a 2.8 handicap. Right. Explain that. So in golf, you know, you and I can play. If you're really good and I'm terrible, then you got to give me shots. So I get 10 free shots. Well, Trump says he's a 2.8, which is really, really good. To give you a little idea, Jack Nicholas is a 3.5. Jack Nicholas. So you look, you can go on the website that shows your, your people's, anybody in the country, you can see their handicap. He's a 2.8, but it's taken him eight years to get the 20 scores. So he's just cherry picking his best rounds. He can't cover a 2.8, no way. Everybody that's played with him, the pros, D, uh, Dustin Johnson, they all say he's about a nine or 10. So why? Does he have to say he's a 10? I mean, a 2.8, when he's really a 10. Isn't, two point, isn't 10 pretty good? Why, why has he got to say 2.8? And, and that gets to the other issue with this book, or the, what this is really all about. Because you can ask, well, why does it matter that Donald Trump cheats at golf? And you write, golf is like bicycle shorts. It <laughs> reveals a lot about a man. It does. And what it reveals about him is he has to win no matter what. It's not that he loves golf. He just loves beating you. So these guys always say he's fun to play with, he always wins, but then he doesn't even take your money. Mm -hmm. So it's not about beating you out of the 10 bucks, it's about showing you that he's better than you. So when he always says, 
I'm the best player among all the rich people. Nobody can beat me. He's played on television 10 times. Pebble Beach, Pro-Am seven times. And the Lake Tahoe thing, Stormy Daniels dime deal three times. He's never made the cut at Pebble Beach. And at Tahoe, he's never finished in the top half. So when there's rules guys and cameras, he's not that good. When it's just his course, his caddy, his world, he's pretty good. You did say two things there, and I want people to know that you make this clear in the book. He is good at golf, just not a 2.8, and people do like to play they with him. They like to play with him. I play with him. He was fun. But it's crazy. He doesn't, he doesn't putt out. You sometimes putt out. He took a gimme chip in with me. Have you ever heard of this? We're playing a bet. I've, I'm in there for a par, at five. He's off the green in four. He says, I guess that makes this good. He hasn't even got to the green. I said, did you just take a gimme chip in? Well, yeah, I'd have made that. So, so. <laughs> Come on. You know, we're constantly fact-checking the president and calling out when he says things that are untrue or just flat-out lies. What's his response? This isn't, the, you're not the first person to say he's a cheater. What's his response to the claims that he cheats at golf and the proof that's in this book? Every time he says, I never cheat. So I snuck into the Bedminster Caddy Shack at, in New Jersey with all the caddies. And I said, the president says he never cheats. And they all go, no, he never cheats. And then there was this silence and I go, oh, you guys cheat for him. And they all laugh and they told they have three or four balls in the pocket. They throw it out of bunkers because he hates bunker shots. They throw it out of the rough. You know, he kicks the ball out of the rough so many times, the caddies call him Pele. <laughs> Finally, you have a challenge for the president here. You want to play him? I want to play him. You're a 4.5? I think I'm a 4.5. All right. He's a 2.8. If he plays the 2.8, and I play the, I'll play him for 100 grand, either of our charities, and... But the rule is, we can't play his course, can't use his cheating caddies, and there's got to be a rules guy with each of us. And I'll play him all day. Rick Riley, the book is Commander in Cheat, How Golf Explains Trump. Thank you very much okay. for being with us, Mr. President. We'll see if you respond <laughs> to the challenge. <laughs>